It is Warlord fashion time. I know, so quick. Thank you guys for joining the the farm. If you did, um, if you're new, my name is Wispy, and thank you for joining. I mainly do For Honor fashion here, and the latest character voted for was the Warlord. So the concept behind this one was a kind of Sith Lord moment, uh, kind of turned into just metal Viking because that's what time I'm on these days. I just want everybody decked out in metal. So I literally have no uh, patterns on anything, no embossings. This is just all gear. I wanted the weapon to be as understated. Honestly, I wanted everything to be as understated as possible. I al almost wanted to lean fully into like monochromatic, but the chest and the ornament actually have gold on them. So. I, I was allowing little like uh, accents of gold so the arms have little accents around the sleeves and uh, yeah I think that's about it actually <laughs> just the chest and the arms and then you get the little bit of gold on the ornament I did have some alternates for the arms like if you don't necessarily want to have sleeved arms. I wanted to go sleeved because I wanted to see as little of skin or hair as possible with this character because I almost wanted it to be like a metal shell. I think the Horkos arms work pretty well here. Just to lean even more into the metal and it actually has like brown fur on it for the earth tones as I said before. Also the Chimera arms are pretty cool. The only issue I have with these is if you change the material like I would say if you you want to go with something as vibrant as possible, putting brown doesn't make it match the dark brown tones on the weapon or anywhere else. So I would say just go as vibrant as you can. Try to make it look beautiful. But that's why I, I initially had these arms on, but I took them off literally for that reason. It was bothering me over time. But there's also the... Uh, the round arms that just have black sleeves underneath but it just makes it a little it leans too far into just full black arms for this look for me I wanted to have more like shiny metals I guess <clears throat> on this one and the litha arms do that very nicely the feral wingram blade is what I had on initially um for like the black blade or if you wanted to go for like sith lord like i said before um you could get the red on the blade but uh i didn't like how it was changing the pant color that was bothering me so i just went with uh more uh you know dark neutral tones if you don't have the vengeful eagle palette uh the chimera monochrome works here as well or the Horkos Champion actually looks pretty nice as well. The Transit Umbra does it. Um, you definitely, you just want to get something that has like this dark brown, if you can find something with it. Another blade that works here is the Asmegan Blade or Asmegan Blade. It almost perfectly matches the kind of dark copper tones on the arms, which I love. I love that man, and it has the silver in the middle maybe a little bit of copper uh on there as well but yeah i really like this nothing changes on this one with your palette but with the ebon Volkov blade you can actually change the color to match your your gear with the palette so just for more um customization you know more freedom <sighs> and yeah i think that's it for this one um if you want i i do have the shadow cult uh effect on just because i like how it looks it's dark it has uh it's like lit from the bottom so accentuates the uh darkness and it looks super edgy but yeah that is it for this first one all right, this is my gold uh, warlord. Yeah, this I was just going regal with this one. Honestly, I started 
this one with um, the idea of Lord Frieza in mind, and that's why I initially got these these little baby horns. <laughs> I went ahead and got the purple, the dark orchid uh, material for this. It just looks so good. You can also switch it to yellow. Just change the uh, palette. So right now I have the Tranquil Fields, which is from playing ranked, which is crazy. I don't even remember playing ranked with this character, but must have been a long time ago. This actually doesn't look bad with the yellow and purple as well. Look at that, and you still have the purple on the blade. That's what I love about... <sighs> Warlord has some cool-ass weapons, dude. Like, the, the hue on the blade with your palette is kind of nutty, dude. Like, that is beautiful with every color. <laughs> Honestly, like, every color looks good with this. And you can even go with, like, a gold blade. Like, look at that, dude. Look at that. Yeah, you could sw switch it to like a yellow color. Sulfur works here. Um, look at that. Look at that, dude. Orange and yellow together. Like, this is... This. This is gorgeous too, but you kind of lose the gold in there with all the color. But, yeah, man. Like, this character. This character. Especially, like, this build has so much variability you know for style and i'm just now i'm just scrolling through like i haven't even done this with this yet like this is it's kind of nutty how good all of this looks even with the purple i'm sure like you could find some really cool mix mixed looks you know like look at that oh purple and red it, it, that's not even purple, is it? It is. It's like a super dark purple. God, eh? That looks nice. Yeah, I mean, this is an alternate as well, right? The Heretic Disciple works there. So does this one, Heretic Believer from... I think they're both from Year 7, Season 1. But if you don't have any of those, there are some purple ones that you get for free, but they're not... They don't look the greatest, in my opinion. Like this one the queenly because it has that green in there and it just kind of messes up the flow of it yeah this one kind of works purple depths rep 16 level 16 double 16s this one kind of does it as well and this one's kind of cool the hide rep 21 level 16 this one has just turned into like a like a regal regal warrior you know but honestly, you could take off the uh, patterns as well, and it still looks freaking beautiful, especially with the different tones of purple. Even on the arm, like you just have the backdrop of like this very neutral color with all this purple on top of it. Like this, it's just clean, dude. There are also a few other helmets that work with this one. I, this one you can use. It doesn't look as good, the logger helm, just because it has gold on it. But this one, the uh, round, I think this one actually goes with the chest that I'm wearing currently. Like the beard matches the fur on the arms. I'm assuming that's why. Yeah. So this one works here too. Uh, I definitely wanted the spikes to match. Uh, there are other arms you can use, but the spikes... Yeah, this one, you have gold on the arms. Like, I was waiting for one with gold on the arms for so long, but it also has gold spikes. Which, if that's not an issue to you, that's fine. It actually matches the, the shield really nicely. These, like, round metal pieces, right? looks pretty cool but I was waiting for these honestly the uh, Sanidi Sanindi arms to see how well they match with the rest of the set but um, they they do they do they do the thing but I don't I wouldn't say that they necessarily are needed here let me see if I take off the pattern, yeah, I mean, it works better without the pattern if you're going to do those arms. 
It's pretty dope. And it's got like the purple leather underneath. Is that my material? It is. Oh my god. Oh no, dude. This is, this is, it's disgusting. It's disgusting what you can do with this one. Like, honestly, you guys have fun. I'll probably be playing around with this one for a while just because there's so much customization with this one, in my opinion. This one's crazy, dude. You could even go with the white material. The pale material with, like, I don't know. Do we have any, like, the, yeah, like this? Oh, shit. Oh, boy. Yeah. Yeah, we're on to something here. This is like, I mean, it's not better, but it's like, bro, it, the the possibilities are endless. They're endless. I'm still going. <laughs> this is nuts. You can get a pattern up here as well. For the white helmet. Ugh. Ugh. Yeah, this is nice. This is real nice. No, seriously, who's suggested who suggested Warlord? I appreciate you. This character, like, this is I love stuff like this. My goodness. Anyway, anyway, let's uh yeah, I had this uh shield before, the phalangite protection shield, uh, which looks pretty dope. You could also go like green and gold with the Azoth Mullen shield. So many possibilities. There are, are different weapons. I had this one, the Good Brand Blade. Um, let's see what else. There's a Jeweled Messenger Blade for like all gold. There's also this Golden Bruin, bl Bruin Blade. Just, just, this shit goes silly, dude. Shit goes silly. But let me put my put my purple back on. I have the Cosmic Seer effect on this one just for the blue and gold. Not quite purple and gold but it kinda kinda does it. Gets the job done. This one is easily my favorite of the three. Um, building this one took me back to the Banner Saga with Ivor as my my right hand you know. If you've never played the Banner Saga Go play the Banner Saga, dude. That game is amazing. The story is amazing. It's almost like uh, The Walking Dead, but Ragnarok. There are characters in the game called Varl, and they're basically just giants. They're like frost giants, you know, with the horns, and they're big and swing stuff. Either way, that is... I was definitely channeling Ivor making this this uh, this build. I wanted to go with uh, horns that kind of match the leather on the chest and I wanted to play with that light leather look so um, this light leather actually has like a hint of green there are a lot of helmets that Warlord has surprisingly that have this kind of light green built in uh, this one also has it the uh, Ver helm the uh, Kato's helm also has a little bit of green built in and it's like very subtle but it's there enough for it to match with what you have going on also the Kivian helm which I think is like the standard basic warlord helm which is pretty dope and this one matches the fur on the arm a little bit better if you want to go with that one instead but I wanted to go with the white beard, matches the leather, matches the horns. Um, some changes you could make with this one, like this chest also has green built into it. The Kato's chest that goes with the Kato's helm, but it also has this kind of like red built in. So you can bring in more warm tones into this one. I know there is an arm, I don't know which one it is, that has a red like leather strap across it yeah this one the him him arms the him arms either way yeah this one has the red on the shoulder which probably will work perfectly 
with this kind of pinkish red, worn down red rope. There's also the Menkar chest that has it has green pants first off but it also has like green the standards have like a green chain link or mesh on it which is pretty cool if you want to go with that and also the fur on the shoulder is a little mossy for the weapons you could change to the feral wingram shield which takes your palette color on the base of the like wood there's also the Volkov compass shield that has that green built into it um i prefer this stelbart shield because it looks absolutely amazing with the green kind of corroded metal on it oh it looks it looks so it's like blessed you know it's gorgeous it's got ravens at the top of it this thing is gorgeous um the weapon traitorous natter blade works perfectly with this shield but you could change it to like this jewel of the reef looks kind of nuts but there's also the volkov compass blade has just like that nice almost like verdigris built in and honestly unfortunately there's no substitution for the forgotten kingdom in my opinion like this is the this is the only one that really works with the leather, like literally matches the light leather material color. The effect I have on this one is the Frigid Sailor. Keep it frosty, you know, and the Betrayal Aftermath on the uh, finishers. And yeah, that is it for this one, folks. Thank you so much for joining. Thank you guys for voting for the warlord if you didn't i will be doing another poll you can vote for the next character and i'll probably leave the poll up for a month or so i kind of want to get back into lies of p like actually give that game a a real go because i've heard wonderful things about it music suggestion for the day i haven't done one of these in a while there's a band out of my city atlanta used to have a really really deep punk rock grunge indie rock scene i'm glad to see some like rock bands coming out of atlanta again it's really cool check out puppy dog by internet islands i've been listening to this song on repeat for like the last week or so but uh yeah they're relatively new to me i don't know how long they've been making music but they definitely hit you with some cardigans slash jessica lee mayfield energy and i those are two artists that i really fuck with so thank you for joining i hope you enjoyed i hope you stay safe i hope you stay healthy hydrated motivated and you know where to find me i'll be here and i'll be doing this <laughs> <laughs>